Okay, so welcome to the last section today. Uh, there will be two talks in this section, and the, the first talk is uh, on efficient KTM CCA secure public key encryption for polynomial function, and the authors are uh, Shuang Han, Sheng Li Liu, in uh, Ding Liu. Okay, you are Ding Liu, right? Oh, Shuang Han will give the talk. Okay, yeah, please. Thanks for the chair. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very glad to introduce our work. Um, the title of, of our work is Efficient KDMCC Secure Public Key Encryption for Polynomial Functions. Um, the authors are Shui Han, Sheng Liu, and Ling Yu. We are from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Um, we study key dependent message security in this work. Um, KDM security compared Compared with traditional security notion, um, it allows the, an adversary to assist encryptions of messages which are closely de dependent on the secret keys. <coughs> that is, the adversary may um, obtain the encryption of SK, FSK under the corresponding public key PK. This scenario may occur due to careless key management. For example, in, um, the backup key may be encrypted by the corresponding uh, backup system on the disk. Another situation um, for key-dependent message security um, is by design, and uh, the, it has applications in anonymous credential system. Recent years, there were there were many works devoted to um, to prove to give counter examples showing that traditional security notions is uh, does not imply KDM securities and give the separations between these two security notions. Let us briefly review the public key encryption. Um, the Alice will generate a pair of public key and secret key, and uh, given the public key, Bob will encrypt the message M and send the resulting ciphertext to Alice. And Alice can decrypt the ciphertext with, his, uh, with her secret key. Um, the KDM security, there will be N users, and the, cipher, and the adversary is given all the public keys. The adversary is also um, given uh, an encryption oracle. Each time, the adversary will submit a function f and, uh, to some user. And the, the user, for example, the s user, will encrypt the f of sk1 to skn or encrypt a dummy message 0 under the public key pki and uh, then return the challenge ciphertext to the adversary. The target of the adversary is to distinguish encryptions of key-dependent messages from encryptions of dummy messages. This defines KDM CPA security. As for KDM CCA security, the adversary is also, uh, has also assist to a decryption oracle and submits a ciphertext to some user. And the S user will decrypt the ciphertext with, um, with SKI and return the decrypted message back to the adversary. This defines a KDM CCA security. KDM security is related to a set of functions. Tip, uh, F, typical <coughs> function sets includes the set of selection functions. And the, se 
the set of affine functions and the set of polynomial functions of bounded degree d. The bottom line here is the larger the function set f is, the stronger the KDM security is. BHHO um, proposed the first um, KDM CPA secure PKE scheme in the standard model in 2008. However, the, their cipher test is incompact. It consists uh, group elements. The number is linear in the security, security parameter, L. <coughs> SAPS also proposed KDM CPA security, secure PKE for affine functions, and the, the cipher tests are, <coughs> are compact. MTY provides a KDM CPA secure PKE for polynomial functions, and their cipher text um, consists of all the um, of group elements. For the KDM CC secure PKE, there are a few efficient constructions. Hoffens um, present, presented the first KD, efficient KDM CC secure, secure PKE with compact cipher tests. However, the function set only consists of um, functions of selection functions. In two, uh, recently, in 2015, LLJ per, um, proposed the first KDMCC secure PKE for affine functions. However, I will point out the security proof of their scheme is flawed. We will, we will explain this later. So in this work, we, we, we work on the design of KDMCC um, PKE scheme. We give the first efficient KDMCC secure PKE for affine functions with compact cipher tests. The cipher tests only consists only a constant number of group elements. And our scheme is very efficient. It, it is free of needs and uh, free of pairing. We, we then extend our technique and for the first time um, construct the first efficient KDMCC secure PKE for polynomial functions. And the cipher test is almost compact. So let's first review the LLJ scheme. The LLJ scheme was claimed to be KDMCC secure for affine functions. One essential building block called authenticated encryption or AE bar is employed in their construction. And the KDMCC security of the LLJ scheme heavily relies on a so-called INTF affine RK security of the AE, AE bar. And, and however, the INTF affine RK security proof of the LLJ's AE bar does not go through to the DDH assumption smoothly. Um, LLJ's AE bar can be regarded as L gamma type. Um, in order to reduce the INTRK security to the DDH assumption, we need to be, um, construct a DDH problem solver who, who is given a DDH tuple or a random tuple and simulates the INTRK security game for the adversary of AE bar. Finally, the adversary of AE bar will output a forgery. However, the DDH problem solver who does not have, uh, who does not have any trapdoor is not able to convert the um, forgery from the adversary to a decision bit efficiently. And the failure of the INTRK security of LLJ's AE bar in turn affects the KDMCC security of the LLJ scheme. Then we show our approach to KDMCC secure PKE by introducing a new primitive called authenticated encryption with auxiliary inputs. <coughs> a possible solution um, is to construct a, a new AE with a sound INTRK security. And we build such a, a new AE called AIAE 
following Kurosawa Desmet type. However, a new problem arises. The, sec the security game of our AI consists of four elements, and uh, a, fine a fine function of k is too complicated to prove the INT F, um, F affine RK security. Um, our solution is to introduce a new primitive called authenticated encryption with auxiliary inputs. Um, it generalizes the traditional uh, authenticated encryption in two aspects. The first different place is um, AIE must support auxiliary inputs. In order to encrypt a message M, Bob will Bob Bob needs to pick a auxiliary input AUX and uh, sends both the ciphertext and the auxiliary input to Alice. And with the auxiliary input, Alice can decrypt the ciphertext with, his, with her secret key. The second dif difference place is we introduce a new security notion for AIAE called weak INTFRK security. It has an additional special rule for, for checking the forgery. In the security game defining weak INT FRK A security, the adversary um, can submit a function F, a message M, and an auxiliary input AUX to a user. And the user will encrypt the message M with auxiliary input AUX under the related key FX and send the ciphertext back to the adversary. Finally, the adversary will output a forgery consists um, a function F star, ciphertext um, AIE CT star, and uh, AUX, AUX star. The adversary succeeds if the decryption of AIE CT star with auxiliary inputs AUX uh, X star under, under F, F star K does not fail, and the forgery must satisfy the special rule. Then we prove the weak INT RK security of our AI with respect to a smaller function set um, called restricted affine function set. Uh, um, the weak INT RK security of our AI can be reduced to the DDH assumption smoothly because the DDH problem, problem solver can sample the trapdoor itself and uh, um, turns the forgery from the adversary of AIAE to a decision bit efficiently. Then we show our method to construct KDMCC security, secure PKE for affine functions. Um, we stress that our AIAE only achieve a very weak INT RK security for a small function set. So we cannot apply the LLJS method to construct KDM CC secure PKE for affine functions. Alternatively, we, um, we develop a new approach and build our PK, PKE from three building up blocks. A key encapsulation mechanism, KEM, a public key encryption scheme, E, and our AIAE. The encryption algorithm of our scheme um, is, shown, is shown here. The KEM will encapsulate a key K for AIAE, and the, and the resulting encapsulation KEMCT will serve as the serve as the auxiliary inputs for AIAE, and the encryption and the encryption of M uh, using the algorithm E encryption algorithm of E will be served as uh, an input for AIAE. And AIE will use the key encapsulated by KEM to encrypt E, the ciphertext of E, with auxiliary input stated as KEM CT. And the decryption algorithm is symmetric. The KEM, the KEM will decrypt the ciphertext to re recover the encapsulated key K, and with the key K, AIE can decrypt AIE CT to recover an E CT. And finally, the message M can be recovered. We, sh <coughs> we show the high level provider of, uh, about how to prove 
our KDM CSA security for fine functions. Um, we will divide the secret key SK to two independent parts, the blue part SK module N and the gray part SK module 5 of N. The first, uh, first, we will use the secret key SK instead of PK to answer the encryption queries made by the adversary. Then we will change the encryption algorithm of E to E bar under the DCR assumption, such that the encryption algorithm of E bar can behave like a, an entropy filter for a fine functions, such that the blue part SK module N is reserved. That means um, the ciphertext ECT only contains information about SK module file van. We also change the, uh, <coughs> the encryption algorithm of KEM to KEM bar under the DCR assumption. We express the encapsulated key K as an restricted affine function of a fixed base key K star. And in KEMCT, we, um, the blue part SK module N will pr protect the base key K star. Our goal is to uh, ensure that the blue part um, is not used elsewhere so it can protect the base, base key K star in KEMCT perfectly. So we turn to the decryption oracle to uh, make to ensure it does not use the uh, blue parts. First, the, the decryption of KEM uh, is changed to KEM tilde, which rejects the decryption query if the computation of K uh, involves the blue parts. By the weak INT um, RK security of our AIAE, we can show this change is computationally indistinguishable. Then we change the decryption algorithm of E to E bar, and uh, uh, it will reject the decryption query if the computation of M involves the blue part. And thanks to the authentication functionality of our building block E, we can show this change is also computationally indistinguishable. So now the decryption oracle does not use the blue part SK, SK module N at all, anymore. Then we back to the encryption oracle and replace the and express E or and express K and restricted affine functions of an independent independent base key K star bar. Since in the encryption algorithm of E and the decryption oracle the blue part is not involved. So in KMCT, the base key K star um, can be, can, can perfectly hide it by SK module N. Finally, we change AIAE CT as an encryption of zero, uh, a dummy message zero instead of ECT because K is an restricted the fine function of k star k star bar which is in independent of other parts of the game so by the ind rk security of our aie and this change is also computationally indistinguishable now the advantage of the adversary is zero this and this shows the kdm cc security of our scheme for fine functions then we show how to extend our technique and build KDM CC secure PKE for polynomial functions. Uh, we, uh, we design a new building block E, which serves as an entropy filter for the polynomial functions. That means through some computational indistingu indistinguishable change, the blue part can be reserved by the encryption of E. And thanks to our approach, we only need to design a new E, and the other two building blocks, KM and AIE, um, does not need to change. As an example, we show how to design E for mo this monomial. Um, um, uh, 
So I, I skip this part and uh, just to show the general E. Um, we show how to design a general E for polynomial functions. A, poly, a polynomial function F um, in SK consists on the sum uh, many terms. For each monomial, say, the encryption algorithm will create a pair of table and uh, a corresponding way. The products of this way are used to hide the message uh, in E. Under the DCR assumption, the encryption algorithm of E is changed to tilde E tilde, such that each way uh, is multipl multiplied with an additional term. The addition ter additional term is T to the minus of this monomial. Consequently, in the calculation of E, the, pro the products of these uh, additional terms will e eliminate the message t to the fsk completely. Therefore, uh, the epsilon to, uh, the e, e to the behaves like an entropy filter for polynomial functions because the entropy of sk module n is reserved. Uh, so let's conclude our work. In this work, we propose a new approach for constructing KDMCC secure PKE from three building blocks, KME and a new primitive called AIAE. By designing specific building blocks, we construct efficient KDMCC secure PKE for affine functions and for polynomial functions. And the ciphertext of our schemes are compact. Thanks for your attention. Okay, thank you. So, is there any question or comment for the authors? Okay, so, okay, no question. So, let's speak again. Okay.